Last year, I made my first sumo robot out of Lego, which didn't even make it to the finals because my coding sucked, but also had the common L of bum-ass motors and sensor expansion capabilities. So this year, I wanted to build a fully custom robot using my recently gained knowledge on the ESP32 S3 microcontroller, which means hours of designing, modeling, testing, coding, manufacturing, and soldering and assembling her head. So if you could hit that subscribe button, your boy would appreciate it. So if we were gonna make a fully custom robot this year, we needed a realistic opponent for it to battle, which can also be used to develop code while everything was being manufactured. For this, we chose the BB-1 from JSumo, which we thought would be a solid match against our custom robot since it has 4 motors, 5 sensors, and is almost 1 kilo. And about 2 weeks before the competition, when my custom robot was working, it made some cute little sounds and lit on fire in my living room, which was conveniently not on camera. I can show you the result though, and this is actually the one which a lucky one of you guys will be getting for the giveaway. You'll be getting a perfectly fine one, and as long as you don't damage it by static like I did, you should be fine. So what happened after that? Well, it was time for plan B, becoming the very thing I wish to destroy, a kitbot user. So, in order to beef up the BB-1 a little bit for the competition, I 3D printed a top plate, added a titanium front plate, and casted some new tires which were much grippier and thicker than the stock ones. Lastly, I needed to modify the code for different situations and different robots. So, I took a little inspiration from this video, and after a little bit of testing at home for the competition, I felt we are ready. So, here's how it went. Nope. 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 Now, while we did win, I was still a little bit salty about the fact that we weren't able to bring our custom robot. So I designed this second iteration of my all-in-one controller right before leaving for the competition. Even though I knew that these boards wouldn't arrive before the competition was over, if we somehow ended up beating the winner of the international competition, aka our spare, with our custom robot, everyone would be happy. And this story would be finished, I guess. So let's go ahead and assemble it.
two, one, zero. Oh my oh. god! I want to thank you guys so much for watching, PCB Way for sponsoring this channel, and my parents for dumping a lot of AUD into this project. While my last iteration of the all-in-one controller didn't work in this robot, it was because of other electrical issues, such as the metal chassis accumulating charge and a boost regulator being added to the output of a buck regulator. Since I don't have any more working copies of my big deck, if you want a chance at winning the ESC part of my previous generation all-in-one controller, all you need to do is like, subscribe, share, and comment down below something containing the word reactants. As always, if you want to see my designs reach the market someday, memberships and super thanks always help. Thank you so much to my two members, Otagi Curry and Asko Kalpi. Hey, do you want to build your own cool custom robot with custom PCBs and custom plastic and metal parts? Well, PCBWay can do all of that for you with super fast turnaround times and discounted prices. These boards arrived in less than a week and the last batch, which included three designs and assembly of over 300 parts, arrived in two weeks, which is just crazy to think about. I personally like the purple solder mask and lead free hazel finish combination since it looks awesome and only adds a couple extra dollars versus a standard order of black or green. But anyways, if you want to try them out, type in your favorite browser pcb.hasindustries.com or this link. This will get you $5 off your first order and help support the channel. Bye!